Wow, that slaps. Holy fuck. Yeah, buddy. Holy shit. All right, you guys, the time is now. If not now, then when, right? Isn't that the old saying? I gotta weigh in. Now, I don't have the body of a McBonger. I, don't, I do not have the genetic structure to, be, to really be doing this. Now, that said, I'm not too, too bad off, but I carry 205 comfortably. I look good at 190. And I'm pretty sure, because I let myself go really hard lately, over the winter, COVID, everything, that we're gonna clock in at a good, if I'm over 230, I'm gonna freak out. And uh, if not, I'll be happy, but everything, we, ha we I need to fix myself, okay? And I need you to be here for the ride. Let's do it. No camera in hand, no clothes. 228, official weigh-in, 228. Well, what do we have here? Is that a sneaky summer day poking through? Is that a nice summer day? Is that a bee? Is that foliage right there? Is that construction equipment right over there? I do believe it is. Jonathan Deere. All right, safe to say that since I'm a complete and total fatty now, gotta quit these probably, even though sugar-free, I still believe aspartame probably screws you up. Uh, I think it's time for ice, H2O, and our friend the coldest here, and uh, to only be driven that now for a while. So I'm sure you're as curious as I would be if I were you. I've never seen this guy's body. He's always behind a desk, eating stuff. Let's see what this man looks like at 228 pounds. <laughs> it's a nice day outside though. I got a soccer ball yesterday from the dollar store and uh, we'll go outside, maybe have a little juggle or two and then I actually just want to talk to you guys on some real shit and uh, just, just, just kind of vibe out and lay some things on the table today because it has to happen. As you can see, the scale does not lie. And I've just been thinking about this for a long, long time. So this has to happen now and we need to talk about it. I want to be transparent and uh, just enjoy some nice weather. You guys like my sporty look? My all black with the mint greens and, and this vintage shitty uh, motorcycle t-shirt. <laughs> but yeah, here's your men's at 2.30. Like I said, I'm a big dude by nature. I feel like I carry it pretty well. Thick in the leg. You know what I mean? Thick in the leg, but it's like, it's all legit leg. Like I don't, I don't, I'm very white, but I don't know how I'm supposed to like, you know, lose anything. It's all pretty much legit. <laughs> it's all here though. Just this guy, these guys couple of these guys, the bongo drum, but yeah, I usually rock 2 like I said, 205, 205 is like, I'm usually cool with, over the fence. Man, it is so loud out today between the birds and the sirens and everything. God damn, how's a man supposed to tell you his story? All right, since I showed you my soccer jock side, I figured we'd go full jock and pop the hat backwards. Also, before we get into this real spit, 
Shout out to the best sponsor on the planet, the coldest water. If you'd like to save a ten percent on your entire purchase, you go down to code hoodie in the link. That's where you go, the link. Then you put in code hoodie. And uh, you can also enter in the giveaway to win free bottles. And I'm putting mine to use this summer. Already been going heavy on it. It's so good. And I got a nice icy water in here. Take a sip ski and then... I gotta tell you guys uh, the reality of life right now for me and for you, I guess, moving forward in the Chichen. But I mean, it's not forever. It's just, you know, it's a thing that has to happen now for a bit, but I'll disclose that after this drink. All right, so here's the scoop. The numbers don't lie, right? You saw the scale. It's 228. It's not a good thing, my guy. You know, it's not good to be carrying 228 for a lot of people, most people. Okay. Now, here's what I say. I do wear it well. Like I said, I'm a large structured man, but 228, 230 is creeping into the area of just complete and unacceptable for me. That number is actually coming close to like, I've always told you guys, before I moved to Toronto, I was like heavy. I was like, I think I was probably 240, 245 at a certain point, but that was 10 years ago. And I was like a, 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 a like I had a boy body, like I had a teenage body. So I didn't carry it like I do now. Now that I have a man body, I carry it better. But back in the day when I first moved, I had a boy body. It was jiggly. It was not good. And then I first lost that weight just kind of by accident, just by moving to the city. Like I just, started walking everywhere. Like I said, I didn't have a lot of money. I just, I wasn't eating like the same. I didn't have a, a, a parental refrigerator. You know what I mean? We all know about that parental refrigerator. You just go snacking whenever you want and claws all up in those drawers. And you know what I mean? So cupboard stocked. So I didn't have that. So anyways, I just, I lost that weight. And I realized at that, at that moment, I'm like, whoa, life is like way better when you're like, you know, at least close to like what you should be. Right. And, uh, I mean, ever since grade eight, I've always carried some extra weight. Like it's just been a thing, but anyways, it, you know, in my mid twenties, like I, I just learned, I learned about like having a more respect for my body and, and, and losing the weight and just carrying a better weight and being responsible about that weight. And, uh, you know, I've fluctuated here and there, but I've never really let myself like when I was in Toronto, I would never let myself get past about. 215 is when I'd be like, yo, brother, man, like you got to reel yourself in, right? Um, I like 195. I like 190. 185 is like, I'm like looking really good. Like that, that's ultimate goal shit. 190 is nice, nice. I'm fitting in 34 pants then like, and when I'm in 34s, I know I'm good. Like I'm happy. Like in 34s, I'm stoked. 36s are standard for me in pant size. Like if I uh, if I'm in a 36 and I'm chilling and it's like kind of, it's just nice. And I'm like 200 pounds. That's good. 205, 205 is like, uh, you know, I, I could fast for a few days. I can get that off real quick. And, uh, anything beyond that starts to get a little dicey. And, and as we could see, it's 228. So I'm not hyped on it. And, um, it just needs to be dealt with. I, I have to handle it. So, um, I'm the type of person that like, when I realize I've taken myself to this extreme, then I need to go the extreme the other way. Like I, I nip it in the butt. Like I, I've always said this on the channel. Like when I see myself going off the rail, off the handle, I got to reel it in because I, the, the reality is I get sick of myself, right? It, it doesn't even take me like really much motivation. Once I get sick of myself, right? I could be put, I, I could be like making the excuses like, Oh, you're not so bad. You could, you, you know, just let it go a bit longer. Once I hit a point of just like, okay, I'm sick of myself then it's just, it's go time. You know what I mean? Everything has to stop. We, we put the plan in motion and we just do it. So that's what has to happen here. And, um, I was debating the choice. I'm like, do I just put up a post being like, yo, uh, here's where I'm at. I got to take some time off. I need a month. I'll see you when I see you. You know what I mean? Or do I be brave, bold, and just put it out there and say, fuck it and bring you in for like this, like month or six week journey of just like fasting, uh, weigh-ins and then completely switching up the content to like expose myself more, like just share more stories 
opinions, viewpoints. Uh, like if I go for a workout, if I go run in a field, if I go play some soccer, if I dance in my basement or whatever I'm going to do for exercise, because I don't like traditional exercising. Uh, if I even if I go for a walk, like I want to bring you with me, right? I want to bring you and just and just make little montages of just like almost lifestyle content, not vlogging. I, I don't want to call it vlogging. I want to call it more lifestyle. I want to push myself to get more creative with like the angles and and just uh, also music stuff. Like I want to show you guys me making music. And uh, I have a bunch of ideas for each video that I'm going to roll out. Like I want to show eventually I want to after the fasting periods like i'm gonna do some 72 hour with like a refeed i know this is jargon to you but there's a guy called snake diet on the internet he's a canadian dude his name's cole robinson he's extreme as shit when it comes to, f to fasting but here's the thing i've i've done his program before and it works immediately immensely and that's the type of weight loss i mess with i, I i'm extreme right i eat extreme on camera but then when it's time to do this i also lose extreme because Here's my, my issue with, with, with traditional style weight loss is that uh, first, it's just a bunch of lies kind of told you by people trying to sell you shit about how to mm, lose weight. But really in, in, in the grand scheme of things, you don't really lose weight. You just kind of yo-yo and then you still get your cravings and da-da-da-da-da-da-da. With, with an extreme fasting routine that I'm going to do, which I've done before, it, it's very calculated. It's controlled. There's this drink called snake juice. It's got um, X amount of electrolytes and minerals. It's just bas basically uh, mineral water, electrolyte water that you make at home. That's to keep your body, the, your heart and everything uh, going because we are electric beings. We are water and electric conductive beings as humans. So you just need those proper minerals and that, and then you need hydration. And outside of that, you can you, you, you basically just go on these prolonged, you know, three day spurts and then you like kind of refeed, you have like a thousand calories or 1500 calories and then you do another three. And then when the threes get, uh, get real difficult, you go down to 48 hours. Um, now his method is quite extreme. I put my own tweaks on it. I don't restrict myself completely as insane as he does. Like if during at some point I'm like, like I gotta have something, I'll just crush like a handful of celery and then that'll set me like at least be like okay i i you know it's like zero calorie shit and it's, there's like proper sodium in that but it will uh kind of curb like where i'm at and just allow me to keep going but it's like it's not gonna make me gain anything so anyways uh, i'm still gonna be going for like light exercise like i said i'm not into tra tra traditional so i'll be going for walks it's like if i go for a walk i want to bring you with me and probably just talk about stuff like almost just like this style or sit down in a park or sit down at a bench uh and and, and just you know tell maybe tell some funny stories uh talk about some certain things that have been on my mind just in general relative to youtube uh all that stuff because you know I, I just have different ideas going forward like i even have some fun ideas of just like almost i have this one idea i think would be cool uh, for videos is like I want to do like a juicing week so I want to do like seven days of celery juice and each day I'm gonna like show show making the juice and then pull up with with the drink with the juice and then um, I want to do like a like a almost going through my Instagram from the very beginning and do like a almost like a six part series because we're not going to get through, through the whole thing in one shot so it's like go to the very beginning of my Instagram and like what what I think is cool about this is like each picture that pops up will I can tell like a mini story or a memory on that and I think that'll be like very connective and you guys can get to know like even deeper shit and also if this plane would shut the F I'm kidding it he can do his thing my my also thought on that that uh, that idea was uh, that like for each picture that I go back they might, some of those pictures might spark like really good like story times that I totally forgot about. So if those spark that, I'll write them down like in the moment and then I'll do like a dedicated story time video of like that picture, right? So I think that'd be kind of a cool idea. I just, I got a bunch of ideas to do. So um, I guess, you know, I don't want to make this too long or too, it's already long winded and, and very all over the place because I don't really know, I don't know how much I, I want to talk about or say here other than 
my general plan because like I said, I have all these topical ideas for videos to roll out during this next 30 to 40 days, right? To lose this almost 30 to 40 pounds. Like I want to get down to definitely 200, if not 190. Uh, we'll see, like we might as well just go the whole way, but uh, I'm going to touch on all of this in those videos coming down the pipe, but just as a brief synopsis of another point of why I'm doing this is that I feel super uh, in the box. I feel like I've been trapped in a box. I feel like a product. I feel like I'm stuck in this mukbang thing. And I honestly feel like mukbang is this weird, like like the trend is kind of over. Uh, I still really enjoy it. I love food. I never won't love food. I'm always gonna, I'm gonna bring food back. I'm gonna bring cooking back once I get this done, you know what I mean? I have to set myself back to base and then reconfigure and reapproach the food stuff in a more uh, just calculated manner, right? So that I can maintain better because just over the winter with, with moving back home and stuff, I'm gonna talk about this in other videos. I kind of just got in a weird space in my head and, and myself got kind of depressed and shit. You guys never heard or saw of it. I'm gonna talk about it in videos uh, in this whole weight loss and cleanse stuff. Um, but yeah, I just, I really feel like I've been trapped in a box. I've been very uninspired and I know that I'm at a wall. I'm just hitting this brick wall on this channel that if I don't tear everything down and start anew, right? If I don't like just like almost go through the season, the cycle, like die off, fertilize the soil and build back up in a new way or like go over, under or around the wall, I'm never going to get anywhere because it's just not it anymore it's just something has to change and the other thing too is i have these like ideas and visions and 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 like this long game in my head of what's possible in my creative realms uh but i've just become complacent and stagnant and uh i'm finally in a position where i now have some freedom financially uh, that I can take this time to lose the weight and also push myself creatively and uh, Just show you guys more of myself and not be slave to showing up with like that dirty food all the time because I was a slave to that for a long long time and Don't get me wrong. I Like I wasn't a slave to it For a long time just near the end here You know for the last little while I've been a slave in the beginning never a slave I just love the shit out of the shit like uh, the fr but you guys have to consider too, I've been doing this for four years straight, pretty much the same style of content. You know, I've tried to mix it up here and there. I've, I've tried to keep it varietous and, and, and kind of push the boundaries a little bit in certain areas. But for the most part, it's been just, it's been food, mukbang, smash and eat and da, 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 da. And that's one of my issues here with YouTube is like, I hate how YouTube or, or the expectation on YouTube is that you have to, once you find your niche, in order to succeed, you have to stick to it and then you're stuck. And the reason why I even wanted to like really take YouTube serious was to bust out of the nine to five cyclical type style life. And I wanted to have freedom to be creative and be uh, my own, my own creative boss and just, and, and push myself in different ways to, to get better at all the things that I want for myself. So I just feel like I've been denying a lot of that a lot of those capabilities in the name of like trying to satisfy an audience but also being a slave to like making an, an a living and stuff like that like here again i'm 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 almost saying too much because i'm gonna talk about all of this stuff like per video for the next month month and a half so i guess i'll wrap this up by saying I have finally have this freedom to kind of do what I want here, take care of myself mentally, physically, spiritually, I guess, and uh, change it up, switch it up, challenge myself, re-inspire myself, hopefully inspire you guys. You know, maybe if you want to come along this journey with me and try to lose 10, 15 pounds too, like, you know, come with me. So um, I just, it has to happen. And uh I know that the the likelihood is I'm not the videos won't do as well as the other ones 
but at this point i don't even care because like i said financially i'm cool i don't absolutely have to be making those those muck videos to like stay alive anymore in terms of finances and uh, i just finally feel like a, like some some weight has been lifted the shackles are off here and i can i can potentially do something that might actually make my channel grow again you know what i mean so i got lots of ideas lots of plans and uh it's it's just it's it's go time because you know when your back's against the wall or when you've hit a wall and you got to go all in again you got to put the chips in man you gotta switch you gotta kill yourself to reinvent in a sense like to grow again because I don't know, otherwise you just go nowhere, you stay stagnant. So I gotta push the chips in and either this could be the ultimate death of my channel or this could be like the rebirth and new growth, like the caterpillar to butterfly type shit. And uh, I mean, at the end of the day, if after all of this, a month, a month and a half, I get slim-ish, cause I can never get slim. My body is just not designed to be slim. It's just, I'm a thick, thick man. Um, if after that, there's always the food again, right? And I, like I said, I am always going to be bringing back, I want to bring back the cooking. I want to bring back the meals. You're going to learn all about this as these videos go on. I don't know how many times I'm going to have to iterate this, but yeah, like that's not going anywhere. It's just, it's on hiatus basically. So, and uh, when I come back, I want to just approach it in a, in a smarter way, a more calculated way and uh and mix up the bag of content right you're gonna see a bunch of different shit during this time that you're probably gonna in the future be like yeah we want some of that still too like we want this other stuff too and then also some food stuff and maybe some music stuff and maybe some philosophizing and maybe some story like I, you know what i mean i want to be varietous i hate being pigeonholed that's why i wanted to really do well on youtube in the first place and 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 do this shit for real because I wanted to be able to be creative and, and be expansive in that. So, um, yeah, this was super all over the place. I hope you get the gist of it. I hope you understand. I hope you can feel me on that. Uh, I hope you can ride with me through it. Uh, I know my real ones will. I know my 2000 that always show up will. So shout out to you guys. You guys are the MVPs. Um, you know, I want to move forward in optimism, positivity, and, uh, you know, looking out for my, my well-being in, in many ways. Um, and, and just hopefully just, just grow and be able to just, just find new levels, find new heights. So that'll be it for today. Once again, coldest water. These are my Gs. And I, I'm not going to lie to you. These are going to be in all the videos because, to be honest, this is how a guy really makes his true money nowadays with this channel minimal views youtube is playing games with me so i gotta have these guys in my corner and uh hopefully you guys can be in my corner too so uh till the next one you know what to do eat good live well stay true